Yeah, good day. My name is uh, John Swarbrick. I'm the uh, technical manager here at Aber Holdings Limited, and um, today we're looking at the assembly of this Dashmate Nebula um, four burner barbecue. Okay, so we've opened the carton initially, and at the top of the box um, is basically the instruction manual and um, information that you're going to need. You need to set this to one side so it's in a really easy reference place. Okay, so we have all the components now out of the um, out of the box of the carton. And what we have uh, inside the instruction manual is a handy to reference um, parts listing with all the parts listed out. What it's a good idea to do is to check that you have everything that's arrived and you check the parts lift off to make sure things there. There's nothing worse than trying to assemble your barbecue if parts are missing. It's also a really good and handy idea is to keep the carton handy so as you unpack things you can throw all your rubbish into the carton and uh, get rid of it in one foul swoop. Okay, so um, when you come to assemble your grill, you're going to need a couple of uh, simple tools. Uh, one is an adjustable crescent. Um, we're using an adjustable crescent because obviously we use a, a variety of different sized uh, nuts and bolts. An adjustable crescent just gives you uh, the ability to be a bit more flexible with that. And we use a screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver, um, or a cross or star pointed screwdriver is the one to, to, to go for with this assembly. We also pre package all of the um, componentry, all the assembly components you're going to need nuts, bolts, clips, etc., all come pre packed in this uh, handy dandy blister pack. When you're using that, it's really easy to use them. You just basically pop them off the perforations at the back and you can select out what parts you need rather than getting scattered all over the place as you assemble. That's a really, um, really good tip. Okay, so we're going to begin the assembly here uh, today with the section A. We're going to step through the manual piece by piece. And in section A, we're assembling the, uh, the cart or the trolley of the barbecue. And it's basically three components and some, um, some fixings here. So we're going to work through that now and show you how that goes. All right. So we're going to um, begin by assembling this side, uh, side piece to the base piece of the barbecue. And we've basically selected the um, relevant screws and uh, nuts from the um, bolt pack. And we're just going to pop it together now. So basically it assembles in the uh, slots. Slots are there and they're slotted so you've got a little bit of adjustment when you um, come to make the assembly final. So let's put it together. So we've worked in and got the, uh, the trolley, the base assembly of the trolley completed, which is fairly straightforward. Now we're going to fit this upper door stop to the trolley and then continue the assembly of the trolley. So we've fitted the uh, upper door stop assembly, now it's time to fit the lower door stop assembly. Okay, so we've got the lower door stop assembly put in place, now we've got to fit this rear trolley brace in, which fits in the back of the, of the barbecue like so. Okay, we're moving on now to um, step F, which is the connection of the um, wheels and also the uh, sort of little feet to the barbecue. So we're just going to step through that and uh, show how that works. Placing the, uh, the foot, there's two plastic molded feet, they're fairly straightforward. Uh, there's a ridge portion there, they just fit straight to the end of the tube. You notice you've got a longer tube and a short tube, the feet go into the longer tube end, they fit in. And we'll just push them home firmly into place like so, same deal on this side. And that's the fitment for those. Okay? Cool. And for the wheel, basically you're going to insert that. We put the rod, if you notice on the rod at end, it's got a flat piece. We fit that through on the wheel. The wheel's got a, a sticky out bit, if you want for a better phrase, and a dished area there. Place it through, it's supported, then fit it through the hole. So, the other side, and then take the other wheel and place that on. Finally, to finish that assembly off, we take a split pin from the uh, bolt pack, place it through the rod and connect it off, and then we can fit the, uh, the finishing trims to the wheels. So, we've uh, finalised the assembly of our trolley, we've uh, put the wheels in there. Uh, support legs on um, and finally what we've done here is we've assembled uh, these doors up. Now we've already put the handles on the doors, we've taken care that we haven't marked the uh, front of the panel or dented it in any way. That's a simple step to fit the door to the barbecue and this is achieved really easily. Um, on the two pivots the bottom one is sprung loaded and you can see we can press that down quite easily. We just fit the um, top pivot in, we can press the bottom pivot down and slide the door into place. Like so, that locks it in and the door closes. Let's do that again. Fit it to the top pivot. We press the bottom pivot down, 
slide the door over and then snaps into place like so. So we've um, lifted the uh, firebox of the barbecue, which is the part of the hood, onto the, uh, onto the trolley. And we had some help to do that. You'll need two people to help you with that part. Uh, it makes life much simpler. We've simply lined it up. We've taken note that in the instructions it mentions it, that we've, uh, we've kept this um, chain out of the way so it's not trapped between the, um, the top of the barbecue, the firebox and, and the trolley. Um, this acts as a, a match holder for emergency lighting and we want to make sure that's that we're able to use that. Also make sure that the hose assembly is, is out of the way. And now we're ready to commence with uh, step K, which is assembling or fi fixing the um, barbecue um, top to the trolley. So we've um, completed the assembly stage as far as we've attached the um, barbecue body to the um, trolley assembly. We've put those screws in and it's now nice and tight and snug. We've already assembled one side shelf on. Uh, we're going to show you the second side shelf, which is probably more tricky than two, because it has a cutout here for the um, gas control tap for the side burner and it's a side burner side shelf which is uh, fits onto the right hand side of the barbecue. So basically it slots in place like so. We need to make sure that we keep the gas control supply and also this uh, wire here which is for the igniter out of the way while we assemble. We don't want those trapped or uh, getting in our way. So we simply pop it in place like so, line up. We only need to make some screw connections and we then also need to fit the um, gas control tap to the front of the, um, the face of the barbecue there. As you can see we're just tightening the final screws uh, to tighten the side shelf onto the barbecue body. As you can notice we're not over tightening them too much so we're not chipping the enamel finish of the body um, of the barbecue. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to attach this uh, gas valve assembly here to the uh, fascia on the uh, side burner of the, uh, of the grill. And to do that I've taken the parts out of the, of the um, package We've got the uh, side burner control knob, we've got the side burner control knob band um, register, and we've got two screws here. So I'm just going to make that assembly. Okay, so uh, when we've got that far, what we need to do is leave this slightly loose so it moves, um, so we can basically then fit the knob um, temporarily to start with. What we want to do and do is just centre the, um, the sort of uh, register up with this band and centre knob so it doesn't bind or get caught. Once we've got it roughly in position, we can just pop that knob off and we can make that finally, uh, finally tight just to nip it down in position. Okay, so we've got this far, side shells are now attached. The, uh, Gas control knob is attached to the side burner side shelf. All we have to do is fit this part, which is the actual side burner burner, to the uh, side uh, side burner side shelf. So that's um, fairly straightforward, but we're just going to step you through some uh, close up instructions so you don't get things that confused. So, what this is going to do, this, this tube's got to go onto that there, okay? So, we've got to put it down through, and we've also got to get that little pip through that hole, and then that igniter has got to go into that slot. So, let me take that wing nut and we attach that to there, like so. Whoop. We don't. Just finger tight. Take the ignition lead and we attach the ignition lead to the electrode. Like so. And then somewhere, it's this thing here, which, hmm. Okay, so this is the retention clip for the burner, so that's going to go around the back of the gas valve, like so. There's a little hole there, which you've got to get it to clip into, like that. Okay, so we've um, assembled our side shelf and side burners. We've placed a side burner trivet or grill in place on top of the side burner, and that's all now completely connected. Um, one of the most tricky stages of the barbecue assembly um, we get um, issues with is people fitting the uh, igniter battery to the barbecue. The igniter on this barbecue is electronic, and um, we have a simple electronic ignition button here. We need to remove the um, cover, 
from that and place the battery in. And it's important we get the polarity of the battery correct. In this case, the uh, negative terminal um, goes to the base. So you place it in like so. We then screw the, um, the cover back into place. And we can press the button to just test to make sure things are functioning correctly. Um, if you're not getting that clicking sound and you can, you can see sometimes the uh, spark actually actuating onto the burner, um, two things can, can happen. You've got the polarity incorrect, either the battery back to front or the battery itself is flat. So try a new battery and see how it goes with that. So it's time now for the final fit out of the barbecue, fitting the um, plates, grates and flame tamers. So I'm just going to step through and show you uh, how we do that and also some options you've got and also explain some of the functions of some of the parts. So first up is the flame tamer, um, and we supply the grill barbecue comes supplied with two. That's the correct amount, of the number, and they only sit underneath the grill plate itself, not, not the hot plate. The hot plate is a solid plate, the grill plate is the one with the slots. So we fit those underneath the, uh, the grill plate, um, basically to catch any uh, drips and so on and so forth, stop things from flaring up, and also to uh, even the heat out over the grill. You don't need flame tamers underneath a hot plate, um, so we don't supply them for that use. They simply fit in, the slots on one end, and then there's a little pin on the um, barbecue body. And you simply place them in place like that, and they fit into the slots, like so. Before we start to fit the cast, we've already fitted one plate there, but we'll talk about the hot plates. Um, with a hot plate, there's two sides. Um, plate side, obviously, for um, sort of foods that you don't want to finish on, and we get a rib side, which is good for meats and grilled type foods. Um, good idea, before you use the barbecue, just give them a quick wash, hot soap and water to get rid of any type of residue that may be left on there from the manufacturing process. So I'll fill that to the grill. Finally, the grill. On this particular model, it's got a single-sided grill, um, so that fits in um, with the um, pyramid side of the grill, if you like what I mean, upwards. That faces in that way. And finally, we have... Uh, a warming rack, which we fit into the grill. This fits between the hood and the body and slips in place. Chrome finish, um, which basically keeps food down, things nice and clean, stops things from rusting and corroding, and um, enables us to uh, make a nice, easy clean job of cleaning it and washing it as it gets used. And finally we have the, um, the hanger and the cup which we use to catch any residue fat that we might get through cooking. That fits into the barbecue on the base. There's a the base of the barbecue there's a, a small slot in the grip hole. We pop that in there and it hangs from there. And we need to clean this out every time we use the grill. It will collect fat as we use it and stop things going rancid and nasty. We need to make sure it's clean and tidy um, before we put the grill away or store it for long term use. So this completes the assembly of this uh, four burning nebula gas grill and uh, I hope you've enjoyed um, the, uh, the assembly process that we've worked through and I hope it helps you and assist you in your assembly of this type of barbecue.